the work that is here, um, I can tell you, is it's very varied. It's from all different eras, um, usually different wars. I warn you, when I really start, I'm very verbose. I remember being in the pushchair and being taken to, um, we're taking my sister to school. And it looked like a doll's house that we were passing by. And as we got closer, it clearly was a house that had been bombed and one side had, had gone down. And it looked like the doll's house I had, where you could see the, all the different floors. It's left me with a lifelong rejection of going to used clothing stores because the used um, clothing and book stores uh, in that era were because somebody had been killed and their belongings were taken and sold. You know, how can you help but be affected? In a long life, you react to the things that happen. And Kosovo was one that was just horrendous. And one could do nothing about it. But you can do a piece of artwork of it to show your protest. Also, asthma dominated our lives. I was, of course, a child in London. And we would have what we called pea soup fogs. It was just so totally filthy. I was going to school, as was my sister, and my father came to pick us up from school because he said, it's, you won't get home with this. So we had to have white flags and we walked in front of him for eight miles. Uh, when my mother died, I was going through her belongings and I found what must have been one of my first drawings. And one of the things about asthma was that you didn't want to eat because the way you were breathing through was your mouth. So I have a drawing of the um, family table with myself and my sister and a huge bucket of food that was so menacing to me. I mean, it was myself protesting uh, the difficulties that one lives with if you have asthma. But I think that's where I started doing art and found it was an outlet for my protests. I was fascinated by what um, you come up with when you go to a metal dump. He's in this chaotic um, scene of um, industry. It was cars that became the, um, these cubes. They crushed them trying to get out of the heavy uh, industrial atmosphere. I'm not going to get political, because that would be bad. I was just so upset by what is happening. So I decided I'm going to do something that is very limited and um, totally and not nasty. This was Eleanor Roosevelt and the International Declaration of Human Rights. And of course, it uh, shows that uh, we certainly haven't uh, lived by that. I think that I'd have to say that I'm a person who's very affected by what's going on.